So you finished constructing your obby and now it's time to do the circuits. Today we'll make checkpoints, a respawning system and restart in your obby. And later in the video, I'll publish the obby and we might even have a secret guest come in and play it. The way that this works is every single person is gonna have an integer variable that will be their checkpoint number essentially. So when you join the room by default, that's always gonna be zero unless you change it. Now, what I'm gonna do is set up a bunch of trigger volumes on each checkpoint. It's just one trigger volume on each checkpoint that is going to kind of say like, oh, okay, you've made it to this checkpoint, even the beginning one. Now, if you wanna skip the circuits part of it, I have an invention here. It's called My First Obby, and it comes with 10 checkpoints. It comes with a respawn down at the bottom and a reset button. So all you have to do is place the checkpoints down and then build your obstacles in between, and then you've already, you've, your obby's done. So we're gonna take this integer variable and clone it and put a new one with each checkpoint and every successive checkpoint, we're gonna go up by one. We're gonna go ahead and take this one that's zero. We're gonna put it over here on this first checkpoint and then we'll clone it. We'll go to the next checkpoint, hook it up, but just switch this to one. Let's clone it again, bring it to the next one. And then on the next point, checkpoint, switch it to two. Next checkpoint, switch it to three. And we just do that exact same thing for every single checkpoint, making sure to go up one every single time. So every section has a checkpoint number essentially. And when you entered the trigger volume, then your checkpoint number will change to whatever checkpoint number it is. Because it's not synced, it's different for everybody. So it will save your individual checkpoint number, if you will. Now we need to build the respawn. And that respawn is gonna read the number essentially that you have as your checkpoint number. And then it's gonna respawn you to the appropriate checkpoint. Number one, get a huge trigger volume and put underneath everything and actually because of the whole whole situation over here i've got to do a big trigger volume up on top of this that if you hit you respawn but then also like around the outside and make sure that somehow they're still able to get in this hole without being respawned i think this might be a time where a custom event would come into play let's make the circuits first we probably will end up doing that but let's just do that first so when player enters the trigger volume i want you to set the position of the player to the position of whatever trigger volume is their checkpoint trigger volume so what we're going to end up doing is making a list of i think we have 10 trigger volumes or maybe nine so what i'm doing is i'm going to connect this to this first trigger volume which would be like trigger volume zero and then we're looking for trigger volume for checkpoint one, which is over here, your two or trigger volume, whatever. That's, that's the next one on the list. We're just making a list of all the trigger volumes in order. Now you want to set your position to the position of the trigger volume that matches your checkpoint number. Go ahead and get a clone of our checkpoint number again. So we want to get index of your checkpoint number and then we need to get the position of the trigger volume so mine's zero right now if i hit the trigger volume down here it will respawn me over there all right now we're at checkpoint one we've hit the trigger zone i die i end up back on checkpoint one because of this hole i have four other trigger volumes over here that all want to do pretty much that exact same thing i can clone all of these or i can make an event i feel like an event would be better just because of all of these yellow wires flying around i need an event definition we'll call this a uh, respawn all right let's do player add the property okay so we have player property and now what we can do is get an event sender configure it to the respawn event we're gonna leave it as local let's let's still get the player i think if you can just do this and it's local because the only time that the event spawner should go off is locally whenever you hit the trigger volume let me know in the comment i'm gonna leave it hooked up once we do that we can get an event receiver configure it to our respawn there we go and then all we have to do from here though instead of having to copy all this and clone this event sender hook up one of these respawn event senders to every trigger zone meant to catch people you know if i'm at this checkpoint and i drop down i mean you can't really do it but if i drop down over here it should respawn me so the respawn the checkpoints these are done all right and then the reset button reset button is real easy just a button in here in the ending part all we're going to do is get an event sender and get the checkpoint thing and then we're going to clone them and bring them in no reset our checkpoint number to zero when we hit this button and 
send out this to the person that hit the button. Reset. So I published this obby. It's called RCL's first obby. I went ahead and fixed a few blind spots in the respawn trigger volumes and fixed the climbing part for screen my players. And then we had therapeutic stop by and try the obby. I just didn't know if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah why don't we just, just do this together? That scared me. Whoa, those bounce? Okay. Now this, I actually ended up having to do a screen mode workaround. Oh, is this a screen mode workaround? Yeah, basically. I'll stop being a cheater then. Oh, okay, so I just hop over here. Your respawn is kind of funny. Why is it funny? Uh, is it just too fast? I don't know, it's like very instant. Okay. It's fine, it's just, it feels different than normal like respawns. <laughs> what, seriously? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe it's fine, it's just been a while since I did parkour. No, I, that's, I... <laughs> What's what's happening? Are you okay? Why is that one so hard? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got it. Take it slow. Take it slow. Here we go. There you go. Hey, all right. No, actually, uh, going no. impatient was. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Oh, what's that over there? What do you? What do you? Oh, oh, okay. I was like, you okay, actually got me. Okay. Yeah, you did it. That's it. And then, you know, rooms have little costumes and stuff, you know. Um, it's pretty challenging. It's good that when people do consider screen mode players and they offer an alternative option for roots. Like, a lot of people don't. Great job on your first obby. Well, I had sure a lot of fun in the obby, and I sure can't wait for that podcast to come out with me in it. <laughs> oh, boy. On your podcast show. <laughs> wait till you see that invention that I put in the, in the window. Oh, it's a real, that's a doozy, it's a, that one. It's a real doozy. <laughs>